Home is where the earth is red. There's sandstone and clay, pine and cedar trees. A lot of the challenges that we face on the reservation are rooted in the trauma of colonization. Many of the people are like barely scraping by. We essentially have three locations we could work at, which is the casino, hospital, or gas station. I saw a lot of my family members pass away to preventable diseases. Things that if they had a provider that they trusted could have been intercepted early on. Seeing that made me want to go into medicine, but I didn't even know any Native American doctors. I've always had an interest in science. Pretty much from my early days, um, I used to like love space. I grew up in Dorchester, single parent home, where I had a mom that worked two to three jobs. I think oftentimes growing up in underserved neighborhoods, you see people are unemployed or underemployed. Oftentimes those are the messages that that's all that you can achieve, that's all that you can become. Looking back now, I, I think that getting into medical school, being a doctor, just seemed soft limits. It seemed unattainable. Everybody has this capacity to contribute but not everybody has the resources to pursue whatever path they want. BSCP takes individuals who have been told you can't or you shouldn't to have a place where someone says you can and you should. We talk about taking students where they are and then walking with them for where they want to go. We were homeless during my last year of high school, but I still got straight A's. And I did college courses in the evening, and I was able to graduate high school at the age of 15. Before BCP, I was 100% a determined student, but I was also an unguided student. BCP took away the feeling of being alone. I would say that it opened a world for me. There's moments in your life when you realize like the, the page is turned, you're on a new chapter. And that for me was when I did a BSCP program 16 years ago. There was a, a, a doctor that came in, you know, he was a black man, and he was a neurosurgeon. And to see him talk about his story was like, oh, he looks like me. If he can do it, so can I. I'm starting my fifth year of my PhD. I study glioblastoma in fruit flies. I found a gene that seems to inhibit tumor growth. I am hoping to go to medical school to become an OBGYN. I want to go back to my reservation and start a cultural-based prenatal program with the goal of combating maternal mortality among American Indian women. Honestly, my biggest motivator in life is to just be the mentor that I never had growing up. You know, to be the doctor that I never saw. But BSCP gave me like a community. And just about everywhere I go, there are people in the room who came through BSCP. Yeah. And they've made discoveries. And they are teaching other students. And they started companies. And they're physicians and scientists and nurses spread throughout the country. If we come together to help identify and nurture and support those individuals, not only will they be successful, we will be more successful. These are our future leaders. I don't think there's any other professional network that would have allowed me access to people who actually want to mentor me. You know, because of their support, I'm gonna be a doctor very soon. BSCP has really been the linchpin of my career now as an emergency medicine physician. 
it has opened doors for me. It showed me that I had interest in leadership. If I hadn't found out about BSCP, I would not be where I am today in medicine. What I carry with me always is the strength of my ancestors. I remind myself that I belong here. In any space that I'm in, I tell myself, Ashawe, Hishikya, thumbs less new, Yego, don't give up, keep going, push hard, persevere. If there's a will, there's a way. It's just a matter of helping the student find that way.